Hello all. Well, yesterday's video is going to kind of continue on today because the story itself is continuing. We're seeing weather anomalies that are off the chart. To start this, let's go down to Antarctica, to the Brent Ice Shelf. There is a chunk that has broken off a huge iceberg, one of the biggest. The size of the berg is 1,270 square kilometers or 490 square miles. That's huge. That is giant. Large climate events like this one are quite rare in the Antarctic. It's normal for calving events, but this large of a calving is definitely a sign of things to come. There are also three long rifts in the same area as if it's going to break off even more and continue to work its way up into the Antarctic itself. That's just one issue we've had since yesterday. Another issue is the sea ice extent that we've been looking at the last three videos and you'll see that there is a large, large event. So large that it's going on just since yesterday when we looked at it last time that I'm almost thinking it must be a mechanical or an instrumental error. If it isn't an instrumental error, we're in trouble. This just can't be right. You just can't have the sea ice extent just dive straight down. But let's go ahead and look at the SST anomalies that NOAA gives us. And as you can see, there's quite an anvil there. This seems to be throwing our planet into real disarray, along with all the human-made pollution and uh, issues that humans have against the planet Earth. So I just wanted to see, you know, kind of check all the charts. Let's go over to the U.S. Drought Monitor and look at that. Well, no problem here. I, I see no uh, unusualness. It's, it looks as if we're in the middle of a drought. And finally, let's go over to CO2 count for today. February 25th, 2020, that's last year, was 413.50 parts per million. This year, February 25th, 2021, 416.14 parts per million. In one year, that's a jump of 2.64 parts per million. That's a 0.64% change from last year. Now I went ahead and looked at the temperature charts for today around the planet. It's actually sort of cool around the planet. At the time I checked, there was nothing over 90 degrees. Australia, of course, one of the hot spots, South Africa, and of course, India seems to be hot year round, <laughs> at least most of India. It is quite interesting that humans don't seem to see that there's a problem still, though they don't have access to the information. Well, they do have access, they're not interested in it. So they don't go check this kind of thing at all. I check it on a daily basis, and I can definitely tell you, the planet is changing rapidly right now, really rapidly. So now's the time to cut back on your environmental footprint if you possibly can. Make it as lean as possible. What you eat, what you drive, how far you drive, where you work, what you do for a living, all that's your footprint. Of course, there's one other big footprint is, uh, do you own a home? If you do, what kind of plants are on it? Native or, or, or uh, imported from some other country? That's a big footprint right there, is if you own property, what's it look like? Does it look, does it represent more of a native uh, forest lands or grasslands or whatever you live in? Or does it look more like a, well, like a human garden? <laughs> Most imported plants are not edible by the native animals that live there. So it's always good to plant native in your yard. Well, so lots of changes coming. Don't expect, if that's for real, what we just saw. If all that is real, what do you think?